Minnesota opener, here we come. Those bass better be ready because I know I am. Drizzly, lots of rain on the radar. East, northeast winds, 52 degree water. Why would it be any different? It's been that way for the last 40 years of my fishing. So we're gonna go out there, mix it up with some square bills, chatterbaits, swim jigs, spark shed on jig head, make draft freestyle on a belly weighted hook, and just kind of start casting different lures and see what the fish want. Could be tough, could be good. I do know it's a lot better being out on the lake than being at home worrying about other things. So let's go see what happens. First fish of the opener. I started by casting up against the cattails. Six casts, no fish. Cast out in the middle of the channel. <laughs> nice healthy fish. Mouthful of jackhammer. Nice way to start the morning. Wasn't sure what to expect when you got 52 degree water and air temps in the mid to high 30s. It's freaking snowing out. Got this mag draft freestyle rigged on an 8 aught beast hook, belly weighted. That thing looks really good in the water. So I stopped where we caught that first fish and mixed up some different baits and attacked a little bit, hoping there'd be more than one fish there. After six to eight casts, no bites. There's no sense in sitting there, so we're gonna keep moving ahead here. I have a feeling up here in the middle of this bay where it's at four to five feet of water, they could just be loaded sitting in there waiting for it to warm up later. Got a 5 16 all terrain swim jig. Craw on the back. A lot of times those fish are out in the middle of these bays, but I'm not really getting much in this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head up to the windy side of the cattails. That usually blows the warmest water up against that shore. And a lot of times that's where those fish will be, so. If they're not on that side, I'm probably not going to waste a whole lot of time in this bay because I tried the middle and I tried the windy side. Rainy drizzle just won't let up here this morning. High 30 air temps, fingers are numb. So far there's a few fish biting, but there's a lot more that are short striking it. And I'm just not in the mood yet this morning to slow way down. I'm just trying to cover some ground, see if I can find some more active fish.
all I'm doing this morning is just popping into small little bays, anywhere from two to five feet of water. And I'm just kind of fan casting both the middle and the shore. And that one there, that one came from away from the shore. Little nicer fish. Choke that jackhammer. And there's the bait that I'm using. Sometimes if you can find them out in that little bit deeper water in the middle of the bays, there's more numbers. You know, that colder water, colder air, pulls them away from that shallower area in the bay and focuses them all out a little bit deeper. So I was going to move lakes, but that weather forecast has changed again, and that's not a shock. Now the radar is full of rain and sleet, and it looks like we got at least a two to three hours of it. And it's kind of backfilling, so I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being all day. So it's just easier to stay here for right now and check the last couple spots here and see if we can put something together before switching lakes. So far that water's been a consistent 52 to 53 degrees. And that's out in the main lake and even up in the bays and on the windy side of the bays. So usually on bass opener, there's always spots that are warmer than others. But when you got a cold week and you got rain and sleet and wind, and not much for highs above 50, mostly in the 40s for a week, that's just what you get. That one was up shallow on that swim jig. So you get over here and you start seeing some of those little divots and stuff. Where some of them might even be beds, but it's just a soft bottom and there's holes in there. And those fish in this cold weather, they like to gravitate towards something different. And it's definitely different 
when you got just a flat of soft bottom and then some depth differences there there's another one so back to back fish just casting that swim jig out on the flat I had to back away from shore. Um, when you get up there, you just, there's nothing going on up there. Just slow rolling that swim jig. Got a five inch green pumpkin grub on the back. And they're not really hitting it hard. They're just kind of taking the slack or, or taking the air out of the bait. So you just gotta keep reeling it slow and it's just above the bottom. Two and a half, three feet of water. And you can feel your jig that whole way and all of a sudden it just kind of goes slack because they're coming up behind it and pushing into it.